Well, Bobby, another great show. Tell them about it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Little Richard. Bop, bop, loom, up, lop, bam, boom, woo! And he will not be in today's show. tell you the boss was coming for dinner, huh? You say the flower arrangement you bought for Junior's bar mitzvah has seen better days? I say... <laughs> with the Peter Potter Perfect Processor, just set the dial to the garnish setting... Here comes the best part, Webley! Add your vegetables and flip the switch. In just seconds, you'll have a veritable cornucopia of flowers for that perfect table setting. <laughs> Ooh. Wow! I don't know what a terrible cornucopia is, but I want one. And that's not all. What would you say if I told you that if you act right now, you not only get the perfect processor, but I'll throw in, absolutely free of charge, Peter Potter's portable, portable soda jerk. jerk. Just add powdered milk, powdered chocolate, and powdered imitation maraschino cherries, and power up! Why, you'll you have, have a mountain of Sundays! Wow! If I had Peter Potter's gadgets, I bet I could save Captain Squash. I'll save you, Captain Squash! Ah! Ooh! Ee! Ooh! Ah! Oh! I only got one shot. <laughs> Quick thinking, co-pilot Bobby! Bobby, the Doom 
Doomsday Ray has robbed me of my superpowers. I can't fly. No problem. We'll just use Peter Potter's incredible socks and a cap. <laughs> We're too late, Bobby. Planet Earth is doomed. No problem. If we act now, we can use Peter Potter's portable soda jerk. Why? We'll have a mountain of Sundays. This is amazing. And that's not all. What would you say if I told you? Look out, Captain Squash! I'd say... <laughs> One false move and it's showtime, Squash! But wait! That's not all! No! Well, Bobby, for saving the world, I'm going to take you to... That's right! Legume Land! I'll be there in person this afternoon! Legume Land! Maybe my dad will take me. Ready to power up! <laughs> oh, hold up here! For the Bobby, what's going on here? <laughs> Bobby, maybe you should spend some time with your father. That means I don't have to help clean up. After we clean up this mess. I knew it was too good to be true. Hey, there you are, son. I've got a big surprise in store for you today. You're gonna take me to Lagoon Land? Well, sure, I, I guess we could do that. But you know what we're gonna do first? Uncle Ted's coming over and we're gonna let you fix the light switch in the bathroom! That's great, Dad. How come parents think if they say a boring thing real loud that it makes it fun? Maybe helping Dad and Uncle Ted won't be so bad. Ah, ooh, I don't know. Dad, when are we gonna go to Legume Land? Oh, uh, we'll go around 3 o'clock. Is it 3 o'clock yet? No, son, n not yet. Real electricians always wear their pants like this. Yeah, yeah, I think we're gonna need some electrical tape, Howard. You know, safety first, that sort of thing. Great, that's a gr Hey, Ted, that's a great idea. Now, uh, where'd that darn tape get to? What's it look like, Dad? Well, it's, it's black and shiny. You think you can find it for me, son? No problem, Dad. Because I'm the one that lost it. I'm helping Dad already. Bobby, what's taking you so long, son? Coming, Dad. I found it. Uh, gr great, Bobby. But what we, what we really need is, uh... Uh, Ted? those pliers, uh, they yeah. have a needle nose. Needle nose pliers! That's needle it. nose pliers! That's it! That'll do it. Needle nose pliers! Yeah, we'll get this job done. I'll get them, Dad! What are they? Well, they're, uh, they're, they're kind of like scissors with a long, pointy nose on the end. Oh! You mean my wormhole maker. I used them yesterday. That's great, Bobby. Why don't you go find my pliers? This is great! Dad and Uncle Ted really need me! I'm gonna get those missing flyers. Excuse me! Are you my dad's missing flyers? No! I'm just a guy looking for the Bermuda Triangle! Not me! My name's Melia! I'm not missing, I'm just... Sort of lost! These are my war 
normal hole makers. I wonder if Dad can use them. I don't know. Maybe it'll just uh, fix itself, Howard. Is this what you needed, Dad? Oh, oh, I, I, I knew I could count on you, son. Uh... So, how are my heroes doing? We're doing great, Mom. No, oh, you know what, sis? A piece of cake. Yep. We'll be ready to go just as soon as we get the faceplate off this switch. Honey, do we have a Phillips head screwdriver? Shouldn't Philip have his own head? Oh, Howard, I think you broke the gee golly thing when you and Ted put in the garbage disposal. Oh, yeah, that, that's right. Uh... I know, light bulb. Maybe Bobby can borrow one from those nice new neighbors down the block. Think you can handle it, Bobby? Oh, it's a big, important job, Bobbo. You can count on me, fellas. <laughs> if I don't hurry, I'll never have time to get to the lagoon land. If we don't get back with the medicine before nightfall, all is lost. I said, hi, Bobby. Oh, hi, Petey. I came to borrow Philip's head on a screwdriver. I don't know any Philip, but let's ask my father. He knows lots of stuff. <coughs> wow! Just like on the Peter Potter show. <coughs> Achoo! I wonder what they'd have to do to make the garage door open. <laughs> Come on, my dad's in the basement. Dad, Bobby wants to borrow a, um... A head! Phil Phillips' head! On a screwdriver! Glad you asked! But why waste your time with a screwdriver when you can have my latest invention? The Peter Potter Pocket Carpenter. It wrenches, it drills, it hammers. It hammers in the morning, it hammers in the evening. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow! I've never seen one of these in real life. And that's not all. Act now, and I'll throw in, absolutely free of charge, the Peter Potter Sandwich Master in Perfect Loaf Pocket Bakery. Just plug it in, and it'll do the rest. And if you don't believe me, just come and see my in-person demonstration this afternoon at Legume Land. I, I... I can't believe it. Your dad is Peter Potter? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Wow! Oh, uh, no, no, we're going to watch it there, Howard, but you, you don't want to crack it. Yeah. Once you crack the cover on the light switch, you got trouble. Ted, I am not going to crack the cover. I'm just going to pry it loose so that I can... Ah, look what I got for pity on his father! <sighs> That's great, Bobby. But did you get a screwdriver? I can do better than that. Pete's pop is Peter Potter, and he gave us all this really neat stuff. And that's not all. Pete's dad invited us to come and see him at Legume Land. Is it time yet? Can we go? Well, I, I did say we'd go at three, but... Come on, Dad, please! Petey wants to go, too. Parents can never say no when you have your friend with you. Well, I, I suppose it wouldn't hurt. What do you think, Ted? Ah, uh, go on. I'll stay here and finish fixing the light switch. Well, if, if you're sure you can handle it, Ted. Why, are you kidding? I'm really good with my hands. I see. Yay! Yay! I'm going to look you, look you, look you around. I'm a kid, I have to ask that. Wanna play Peter Potter Pocket Pool, Bobby? Pocket Pool is my favorite! Me first! Ow! You boys settle down right now. Don't make me have to come back there. Making your dad crazy is the best part of car trips. 
<laughs> hey, why don't you guys find something quiet to do, okay? We're almost there. Hey, Bobby, want to see my dad's story in a box? Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was a brave little tailor, and that's not all. Well, now, <laughs> speaking of tailors, did you know that I sell pants, Petey? Petey's dad knows all about pants. He invented Peter Potter's power zipper. And there's only been one accident. Swell. Ah! <laughs> Look, there's Okra Winfrey. That's nice, Bobby. Now, do you remember where I told you to go in case we get separated? No problem, Dad. Petey recorded it on his parent on a wrist. Petey, stop picking your nose. And that's not all. I told you to stop pointing. If we get separated, boys, we'll meet at the information booth. What's the formation booth? It's the building shaped like a gigantic garbanzo bean. Okay, Dad. Bonzo beans are the ones that look like potato bug heads. Yeah. Okay, boys, which veggie ride do you want to go on first? I want to meet Petey's dad. He's my hero. Well, whatever you say, Bobby. But, but, but some of these rides are pretty darn exciting. Yam World sure sounds interesting. Hey, how about that Turbo Tuber hey, Express, huh? Or, or maybe... Let's go. Hey, Roaring Rutabaga! Zowie, that sure sounds like a doozy! Tired of wearing the same old hair day after day? There he is! Well, I've got the solution to your problem right here. Peter Potter's Do in a Can. Now watch this amazing product in action. Ooh! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. 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 Give me one! Give me one! Hey, hey, hey. hey, Petey! You think I can meet your dad now? Sure. He'll probably make us help him demonstrate his next gadget. He will? Hi there, kiddo! What's your name? And how about you, young man? What's your name? Petey, Dad. I'm your son, and this is my friend, Bob. Just what I needed, two volunteers. Hey, what are you doing, Mr. Potter? Glad you asked. Oh, no. Johnny has stained his shirt before the big wedding. It's Petey, Dad. What's that? And you say you're out of soap? Well, what do you say? No problem. Right. Because you've got Peter Potter's Spot Shot, the miracle stain remover. It removes greasy, smelly turkey fat in seconds. And that's not all. It leaves your clothes smelling like mom's meatloaf. I think we better find my dad. Bobby, there you are. What happened to your shirt, son? I was to be four, Dad. Oh, I, I, I get it. Well, we better get going home now. Your Uncle Ted, we gotta help him, you know. Can I come and help too, Bobby? Sure. Oh. What's this, Ted? Oh, uh, it's a uh, trout on a stick. You want one? Is the light working, Uncle Ted? Nope, nope. I've tried everything. Oh, but uh, no luck, Bobble. Hey, the garage door's opening. Say, these gadgets really work. Speaking of work... Yeah, how are we gonna... maybe we should flip it over or I something. I don't know what to do. I don't know. Hey, Dad, maybe it needs a new bulb. Well, uh... I guess it's worth a try, Ted. You know, you gotta try everything. Uh, sure. Can I help? Sure, P Petey. I got it, Howard. There you go. How many Uncle Ted's does it take to screw in a light bulb? Just one, because that's all we've got. <laughs> Flip the switch. It works. Oh, uh, yes, oh, you know it. We did it. Yeah. Oh, I could have told you that in the first place. Boys, we couldn't have done it without you. That was fun. Doesn't your dad let you help him sometimes? Well, he's usually kind of busy. But he did let me turn on the carcass of attic one Thanksgiving. Hey, Bobby, what happened to your new hero here? Mr. Potter's okay, I guess. 
But he's so busy venting stuff, he never spends any time with Petey. You have time for me, even if it's just to put the light bulb in. You know, when it comes to being a dad, it isn't what you have that counts, it's what you do. I'm pretty smart. I get it from my dad. Well, that's our show. I guess it's time to say goodbye, Bobby. Wait! Before we leave today, I would like to ask Little Richard to sing a song. I don't feel like singing. Okay, then I will. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be Bye! Right